All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rekakurash. The water of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, for allowing me to do the video through the Spirit. The water of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, for giving us this truth of worms. Double honor to our apostle, utters that great millstone and salutation and blessings to the whole for luck. And uh, I just want to do this quick video on uh, something that me and my coworkers was talking about, and then a brother happened to bring it up. I called him. And the fact remains that slavery was not that long ago, and you still have some of our people who who are up in age, like this woman right here, who remembers going going through that. And she may not have been in complete chattel slavery, but she was basically in slavery, where Esau was paying them pennies upon the <laughs> pennies of damn near nothing to to work from three a.m. to five p.m. And that's 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 slavery. And then her her mother and her father would have actually been slaves, to be honest. And then the reason I'm saying that because my coworker either either he's an older gentleman, and uh, you know Jake don't really have it all, but he he know a little bit. He not not all the way there. He think we more than shit, but nonetheless, he was talking about basically his 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 grandma or his great grandma was uh was picking cotton like this woman right here and then he's in it if it wasn't his grandma it was his great i'm willing to bet it was his grandma who was picking cotton and his great grandmother who was who was in slavery and if it's not that way it's his great grandmother then his great grandma which would be greater, which I don't think so. But she was she was in slavery. The fact is that slavery was not that it was not that long ago, and Esau Edom has to pay for that man. That tension will always be there until Esau Edom pays for what he did, and it's just that fact remains. You have to pay for what you did to the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You have to be you have to pay back. That it would be he it would be super unjust of the heavenly father to let you get away with this, and he's not because the heavenly father is not an unjust power. You will not get away what to what you did to the to the Lord's chosen people, and not even only him, but the entire uh, not only to them, but the entire planet Earth. So I'm gonna let this play. Lord willing, picks up the sound. Now I'm gonna record it, and you know, and then also you can just I'll put the link in the description. But I get uh she she said something very important around this part. She she laughing. She don't really understand what she said. She said they think white folk like them. It's a bunch of crap. And we're here now in 2021. And this video was uploaded six days ago. I think this is brother's page, actually. Yep, it is. Uh, she, she says she, she think white people like you. It's a bunch of crap. And she's right. But a lot of our people don't under understand that. They don't understand that this devil is your enemy. And you have a lot of our people going unto this devil 
for this juicy juice, which is ultimately going to kill them. That's Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I'm let this play. Then I'm going to rewind it. And then, uh, then I'm going to grab some scriptures and close it off. You see what she said? She said, all oh, like, they're all bad, man. They, hey, see, I'm going I'm to grab a scripture now. I'm going to go back to that. Who will pity a snake charmer, man? Our people think that it's some that's good out of it. There's none, man. Esau, Edom, he is hell incarnate, man. He's the devil. You cannot trust him, man. He he will deceive you and destroy you, and especially Jacob, at any time he will, man. At whenever he sees the opportunity. This is uh, Sirach twelve, and verse thirteen. Who will pity us? Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a with a serpent, or any such come nigh wild beasts? And you, Jake's. Thinking you can trust Esau Edom is equivalent to coming towards a wild beast. Thinking you can trust a lion. That is a lion, man. Thinking you can trust a panther. There was a dude who had a, he basically had basically a home zoo. And uh, he owned a panther. And people would come and look at the panther. And uh, look, you know, it, it observed the panther, petted and shit. And eventually one day, the panther... Whack, whack somebody, man. Scalp somebody, in other words. And who who gonna pity that dude? Like, hey, it is a panther, nigga. It's a panther. You don't get you. It's a wild animal. It's a wild beast. You don't go. You don't go to that wild beast thinking you can be friendly to it. It's a wild animal, and that's Esau Edom. You cannot trust him, man. And we're telling our people, and they don't want to listen. That's just why she said. She said these young people, they don't want to listen. She said, I ain't telling them nothing. <laughs> and I feel you don't want to tell Jake anything because they don't they're not going to listen. But hey, our job as a prophet is to warn the people so the blood can be off our hand. But but like it says, who will pity a who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? And you, Jake's are going to be bitten with that juicy juice. Ultimately, the chip, because you think Esau Edom is your buddy. You think he's your pal. You think he's going to be, be be your friend. He's not. He's just not, and he's never has been. Let me get back to this. And my job does that. <laughs> they have food sat in there. So for one, you don't leave. And then they get paid. They get paid for you buying the food that is there. <laughs> it's the same thing, man. It's just it's just modern day slavery. Hey, that is a affliction that our people have have gone through because of the transgressions that we have committed against the heavenly Father Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. But there will be a payback for that, man. You're not going to get away with this. And and Jake, who trusted in him, you're a fool. This is Zechariah eleven and verse uh thir three. No, verse 5. Who possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that, that sell them say, bless, bless be the Lord. For, for, I am, for I am rich and their own 
shepherds pity them not. And let me get this other video real quick. Going on the sa going on the same thing, man. Going on the exact same thing. Okay, it's not it's not a. Okay, it's not up no more. But it was basically a quick short about what happened to the Native American Indians. And and we all know what happened to Gab, man. But at the end of it, what did they say? They said they blessed they they had a they had a feast. And they blessed the Heavenly Father. <laughs> or they blessed Satan, their God. But they they who possess or slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And Esau doesn't feel that he needs to be paid back for this, man. He feels no type of remorse for what he has done to the children of the Lord of the Lord's people. Where the apple of the Lord's eye. Verse six, for I for I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. But but lo, I will deliver the men, every one into his to his, to his neighbor's hand, into the hand of his of the, of his king, and they shall smite the land. And and out of their hand I will not deliver them. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna get this. And the apostles actually mentioned this this week. How how in the hell is all this turmoil gonna happen to the Lord's chosen people? But you 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 Esau, you're just gonna skate off into the sunset. Because this video is highlighting you being punished, man. Yeah, our people are gonna get destroyed. But you have to be punished, man. You can't just skate off into the sunset, man. The judgment is going to come for you. And you're not going to get away. This is Jeremiah 49 and verse 7. Concerning Edom. Thus said, and this is a future prophecy. It has not been fulfilled yet. Concerning Edom. Thus said, the Lord of hosts is wisdom no more in teeming. Is counsel is is counsel perish from the prudent? Is it is their wisdom vanish? Flee ye turn back, dwell deep, O O O inhabitants of the Dan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the the time that I will visit him. And there will be there is a point in time for the heavenly father through his son, Yahushai, to visit Esau Edom for all the crimes that he has committed. If a great gra if a gape grape gather comes to thee, would would they not leave some some gleaning grapes? And really think about that, man. Esau has the ability to make a car that will last for five hundred miles. Esau has the ability to feed the population. There should be no world hunger. Some even on the anime they said they said there's if there's water if there's grass if there's land itself there shall be there shouldn't be people starving to death but why Esau eat him and his greed what has he done he's taken all the resources and and hoards it for himself and rations it off to the people and it even gives the people the GMOs of it and keeps it all for himself. This is this is the man we're dealing with. If the great rather come to thee, would they not have leaned some gleaning grapes? Uh, all for the the, the 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 majority of cars nowadays last two years. Cars used to last, man. You used to be able to fix it, go to a junkyard, get some spare parts, and it'd be good for another couple years. Now it's all fucking computer technology is always messing up. Go ask people with these newer cars, man. They'll tell you that they that they be taking their car to the dealership all the time. If the thieves by night, they will, will they will destroy till they had enough. Esau can never be satisfied. But have have I made? But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and that's what the Lord's doing. And how is he doing that through the prophets? You're being revealed and you can't hide it anymore. And he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, his brethren and his neighbor, and he is not. And look at what's happening to you, Esau. You're failing. You're failing. And eventually you're going to be completely eliminated. 
leave, leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive. Let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemiah Shai, behold, the, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall shall altogether go unpunished? So we were, we the, at the end of the day, what is it saying, Wisdom of Solomon? Which I'll grab real quick. And then I'll go back to the Jeremiah. Wisdom of Solomon 2. In verse 23, For Yahweh created man to be immortal. Who is that man is speaking about the Israelites, the sons of God, and made him to be in the image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, the envy of the devil came deaf into the world. Who is the devil? Going back to that old serpent. How did death come into the world? Through sin, starting with Eve unto Adam. And they that and they that do hold of this side do find it. Hold of what side? Side of the sin, death. They will find death if you continue to sin. So that that was the whole plan all along for us to be immortal and to be perfect unto the eyes of the Heavenly Father. We were not supposed to go through chattel slavery, even though it was all part of the plan. The the ultimate goal was to be immortal and to be perfect and praise the Heavenly Father. Verse 13. Wait, wait. Back in verse 12. Thou, sh thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by my myself, said the Lord, that bother shall become a desolation. And that bother is the capital of, of Edom, Idumia. And, and a reproach, a waste, a, and a curse in all the cities thereof shall be perpetually wasted. And perpetually means immortal, means forever. Because after Esau does serve his slavery, he will be completely decimated off the face of the planet Earth. And there will be no more Edomites. But you will be paid back for the crimes that you have done, man. You have to. It would be unjust for the Heavenly Father to not pay you back. Hey, what does it say? What are the, what is the faith and the patience of the saints? I'll close off with this. this is Revelation 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. So, hey, there you go. And it will happen soon enough. So with that, all praise be to Yahweh by Shemiah Al-Shai, by Shemar Kakwadash, and the water Yahweh by Shemiah Al-Shai for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit. The water Yahweh by Shemiah Al-Shai for giving us his true false worms. And double honors to our apostle and that great millstone. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful. Like that.